Okay, let's take a look at the weather Google Slides for students in kindergarten, first grade. It's geared for those grade levels. My name is Cindy Martin. I'm also known as Teacher's Brain. You can scroll through and you will see that students will first think about what they already know about weather, what they wonder about weather. They can just click in here and type their answers. But I made it a small amount of color on here so that you can print these. They're printer friendly. You can just erase the text boxes and print them and use them for in-person learning if needed. There are there are 12 different slides to show students about the vocabulary when it comes to weather, also the seasons, and you will also find the water cycle and types of clouds. Students, once they read the types of clouds, they will put a check by it. Once they have read the definition of each one of these, they will then go and write a sentence using the word that they have just learned about. So they just click on here and write their sentence. You can have students compare and contrast sunny and rainy days using the words below and just click in the boxes and they can add whatever text they would like from down here for the word bank. They can add more if they have something else. Now one big teacher tip that I'm going to tell you before you start any kind of Google Slides, if your students are fairly new to Google Slides, show them this undo button. It is what I call the magic wand that students, whenever they make a mistake, let's say for example they might have deleted the text box, they can just click the undo button and it brings it back. Or maybe they change the size of something and they need to fix it. Now, if you want your students in person to do this by hand, just go through and delete all the text boxes and then you're ready to just print. This one, students will put a circle over anything that is weather related and they will put an X on anything that's an animal. They will read about some wild weather facts and then they'll have a challenge to see if they remember what they read. Label the weather pictures. If they're going to be, if your students are virtual, they can just drop and drag this to the spot. And if not, you can use a text box to put the words over here on the side and students can use those words to handwrite into the each block cell. They can do the same thing for this one. If not, they just drag it to wherever it's supposed to go. Here's one for the water cycle. They just drag the word to the image and then at the bottom they will write about the water cycle. Students will make a prediction. If I told you that you needed a scarf, then it would be what kind of weather outside? Maybe it would be snowy outside. Write a different activity that you can do in each type of weather. What can students do? What can you do in the rain, in the sun, or in on a snowy day? Here's a super fun one. Your students can pretend like they're meteorologists. This one, all you have to do is insert a picture. If you wanted to, you could have them do a video of themselves doing a forecast for the weekend or something. But if not, just add an image from your computer and then click over here and they can write their name or whatever they want to talk about. But their job is to be a meteorologist and give a weekend forecast. This is where they would put their weekend forecast. And these next slides are for a weather journal. If you are teaching virtually, students will just be reading these. You can go over it with them during your Zoom or Google Meets. Go over all the different weather words, the types of clouds. And then down here, they will talk about what kind of weather is your favorite? Why is it your favorite? They can check themselves at the bottom by dragging the check marks over. If you're in the classroom and you want them to handwrite it, again, just highlight and delete the text boxes and you can just print them out. All right, the last one is for students to make a rainbow. There are lots of different color circles here and the students can just drag and drop each one of these to make their own rainbow. If you wanted to, you could even print these out and hang them up in your room to display for rainbow art. You can talk about the different colors of the rainbow, how the rainbow exists by using the by using this and that is it 
So I hope you guys all have fun learning about the weather. And remember, as always, you can find the link in the description underneath the video.